right, well, it is day eight of the great Minnesota get together. And today is Seniors Day out at the fair. Anybody 65 or better gets in for just $8. Many vendors are offering special discounts today as well. And so a good deal for you if you want to get out to the State Fair. This morning, our Kylie Burse is live in the DNR building at the State Fair where Kylie just blew up some rocks. That She's was very exciting. Up. What do you have for us next, <laughs> Kylie? That was so much fun, wasn't it? I was inside the Blast Shack at the DNR. My friend Don helped me blow up. Uh, what was I blowing up there? Oh, that's a uh, rock from the mine pits up north uh, where they mine or iron ore. So cool. I bet the kids just love this exhibit. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Tell me a little bit about why you have it here. Well, we're at the Division of Lands and Minerals. We provide the real estate services and minerals expertise for the state. So uh, the, the main goal of this exhibit, between, uh, besides having lots of fun, is, is to tell people in the state a little bit about mining in our, in our mining history, minerals history in the state. What is this like for you? I know your background is in geology. You've been with the D DNR for more than a decade now. What's it like being out at the State Fair and letting people discover kind of the history and the geologic history of the state? All right, well, this is a real treat, yeah. um, especially for me because a lot of what we're talking about today is just sort of outreach and, and, and teaching moments, you know, talking about especially for kids and my parents are teachers I married a teacher my youngest daughter <laughs> is starting to be a teacher so it's sort of in the family and it's, and it's a great way a uh, great break from my normal work inside the, uh, in the office so. I love it yeah. I love that your whole family is somehow surrounded by teachers that's so cool uh, you've brought a couple of rocks out for us and the I know this one pretty familiar to Minnesota right um, so we have a, a, a rock and mineral display that, that has all samples from Minnesota and that's one of the nicer agates that yeah. we have available um, and then we also have uh, a gold-bearing quartz vein from up on the range, up in the Gilbert area. So uh, you can come out and see a, a, a lot of the samples. It's a really popular part of the fair. I know most people, they stop right at the fish pond. Mm -hmm. And it's just a blast. People love it. What else can they see when they come inside the DNR building? Well, we know we have some stiff competition in the DNR. There's so many great exhibits yeah. here. So, for example, we've got a, a, a beautiful quilt and right in front of our, yeah. draw people in, a nine feet long uh, quilt that shows the bedrock geology of the state with 80 different colors of fabric. And uh, we also have information about land sales um, and the work that our real estate people do. And uh, we've got a little table where kids can actually find out for themselves how many mega malls would fit inside a mine pit. I love it. And so, okay, so when, if they want to come and they want to try the blast shack, it's on kind of every two, three minutes, you'd say there's an explosion Right, happening? it's a 25 minute video, but we show a, a blast every two or three minutes okay. just to make sure everybody gets a chance to see one. And I can't help myself. I think I want to go blow it up one more time. Can I do it? Absolutely. Okay, so this is fun too, because once you're actually inside the blast shack, you feel the rumbles along with the uh, pretty loud explosion. So Don, okay. I'm ready to go. I get my countdown. Two, Here we go. One. Oh. Uh, that shouldn't be as entertaining as it is, but it's fantastic. That's nice so splash. much fun. Almost <laughs> oh, a million I've just blew up a million tons of rocks. Wow, Kylie, so much why, fun! Why I are love you destroying this. our environment? What are you doing, <laughs> Kylie? I, I, you know, it's part of the what you have to do. It is. <laughs> you can come down and learn more about it. It is cool. It's really great. I love that. Uh, I love that building out there. And like you said, so much fun for the kids. You could sit. I mean, yeah. you. I, I see your excitement. You could just keep blowing stuff up all it's day. It's really fun. Well, yeah. this whole thing rumbles. Like, you feel the rumble when you're inside yeah. of it. Oh, so. Really cool. It's awesome. exciting. Thanks, Kylie. We'll uh, visit with you next hour as well to see uh, some of the fun stuff people can see out at the DNR building. Some of the exhibits at the State Fair hope to teach a lesson. This morning, we are in the DNR building checking out the fire tower, specifically built to send a message about wildfires. Kylie Wurst joins us there now live to tell us about it. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Kim. This is such a treat to be able to get to witness the sunrise come up from the DNR fire tower. And we're lucky enough to have Steve Carroll with us this morning from the DNR. Good morning. Good morning. This is cool. I know we have the grandstand right behind us. Mm -hmm. This is really fun. I bet a lot of people love this. This is really popular exhibit. You know, people come to see the fire tower and, and see what it's like to be a spotter in the woods. Um, we don't use these anymore for fire detection, but this is a great opportunity for people to get a sense of what it was like to be out in the woods 
and kind of peeking out and seeing what forest fires are all about. So is that what the fire tower was used for? Is someone would actually sit up here just keeping an eye out for maybe that smoke in the distance? Yeah, yeah, we used to have, I'd say over 100 up in northern Minnesota and people would um, be up in the fire tower all day checking uh, for fires and, and alerting people if there was something. But uh, we don't use those anymore. It's primarily done by air. Um, and uh, people calling with their cell phones and that type of thing. So when people come to the fair and they get to climb up this tower, what are some of the things that you hear from them? Well, they, they can't believe the view. Yeah. I mean, it's an unbelievable view. I know, that sunrise this morning is so cool. It is so cool. I mean, you can see so many things downtown. Uh, downtown Minneapolis is mm -hmm. about five miles to our west here. You can kind of see some of the different exhibits. You see downtown there, you can see the midway. Um, people just get a kind of a, a bird's eye view of what's happening here at the State Fair. It's 65 feet tall, uh, 84 steps to the top. Um, and there's steep steps there's too. Yeah, yeah. There's steep steps. <laughs> and the thing too is that you know most of the real um, fire towers were made out of wood. Yeah. And so it would kind of sway maybe if it was a windy day. This is stable. Okay, so that makes me feel good. <laughs> so you're good. Granted, we have the top 10 weather day. We're not <laughs> expecting a lot of wind today, but I know that this was closed for two decades and it's now been open for about, about 10 years again. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the 50th year. This yeah. exhibit has been here on the property. It was built ex just for um, the State Fair, uh, opened in 66, closed in 78 for safety reasons. For a couple decades, we were probably going back and forth on, you know, you open it, maybe not. Nah, maybe it's not worth it for 12 days, <laughs> so on and so forth. Then we decided it's very important for our uh, wildfire exhibit. And, yeah. and so it reopened in 2006, and thousands of people have enjoyed it ever since. We love it. Well, Steve, what time does this open? It's 9 to 7, nine to uh, seven. daily, uh, weather permitting. Wonderful. Well, we got the special treat of getting up here for the sunrise this morning. So, Kim and Jason, it is really cool to be up here. But again, it opens up at 9 o'clock for everyone else to come out and enjoy. It looks beautiful. It's a good workout, too. So, go eat some yeah. fair food and climb up 84 yep. steps, right? Exactly. Then you have to climb back down, too. <laughs> yes, very cool. Thanks, Kylie.